sculpture is work of art carried out in two or three dimensions, where a mass of material has been manipulated into a meaningful representative or abstract shape. A basic distinction is between sculpture in the round, freestanding sculpture such as statues and various types of relief, which are at least partly attached to a background surface. The materials used in sculpture are diverse and have changed throughout history. Bronze and related copper alloys are the oldest and still the most popular for cast metal sculpture. Alloys are a mixture of metals with another element. The alloy expands slightly before it sets, then as the bronze cools, it shrinks making it easier for the artist to separate from the mold. I'm Bill Starkey. I'm a sculptor. I work in metal, bronze, and aluminum. And I do sculptures of people, figurative things. Um, my work's really about uh, interactions of human beings, and I, I use the figures in my work uh, not really as a representation of someone or a replica, but rather my vocabulary. So I'm, I think when you see my work, I want you to see something happening, and I'm using the figures to demonstrate that activity. A sculptor can achieve their desired results by either subtractive techniques, an example chipping or carving material away, as with stone or wood, or additive techniques, an example adding material, as with clay or wax. If the sculptor is creating a cast metal work, such as a bronze, a cast must be made of the sculpted model, usually made of wax, and then molten metal is poured inside a ceramic mold of the sculpted model. Such methods include lost wax casting, investment casting, and sand casting. A patina is a thin layer that variously forms on the surface of stone, copper, bronze, and other similar metals that can change the surface through age and exposure. Patinas can provide a protective covering to material because it is a coating of various chemical compounds such as oxides, carbonates, sulfides, or sulfates formed on the surface during exposure to atmospheric elements like oxygen or rain. They are usually applied once a piece is completed. A common example of a patina is rust that forms on iron or steel when exposed to oxygen. Sculpture may very well be the earliest art form, as carved, etched rocks in the shape of humans and animals predate the oldest known cave paintings.